In 2017, I moved to Tallahassee, Florida to pursue a degree in marketing at Florida State University. After one semester, I dropped out, and now I travel the country doing what I love. What's up? I got something awesome to talk about today, and it's about how a college dropout, me, went to the college for one semester and dropped out, managed to get his dream job. I need a coffee, I need an Americano. What is up guys, my name is Logan Tremellen and I'm a daily vlogger. I'm here to encourage you guys to defy the odds no matter what the odds are and I can teach you how to defy the odds by just showing you what I'm doing. I've almost died two times because of Crohn's disease. Watch this video in the top right hand corner if you wanna learn more about that. But I've almost died three times in my life and I just keep on defying the odds. And this video is about another time I've defied the odds. I went to college, I hated college, so I dropped out of college. And I've still managed to get a photography, film, and marketing job that I love that allows me to travel the country. Now you're probably watching this video because you're so confused. How did a 20 year old who dropped out of college manage to get his dream job? I'm gonna tell you some things that I've done that allowed me to do this. The first thing I did was I realized that I wasn't happy in college. The last couple years in high school, I just dreamed of going to college and getting that degree and getting a good job and becoming wealthy and all that stuff. And I went to college and I was, I was disappointed with it. I wasn't willing to wait four years to be disappointed. So I dropped out after the first semester. Now this is obviously harder than I'm making it out to be because I had to tell my counselor at school I didn't want to stay there anymore. I had to tell my parents that I was giving up on college after I was there for two months. I basically threw away all the money I just spent there. I threw away all that time, but it was still an experience I would never change. I wouldn't change my decision for the world. Me going to college made me learn so much. It made me understand and appreciate life in a completely different perspective. And shortly after I dropped out, I got really sick with a stomach infection that forced me to move home. And after I got all my health issues figured out when I was at home, I was starting to like get back into shape and at this point I was down like 40 pounds and I was very weak and just sick. But I started working again and I got a part-time job with a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. And I wasn't happy at that either. I wasn't happy there, so I left. I left to go all in on myself. See, at this point I was just getting into daily vlogging. I think it was like 40 or 50 days into daily vlogging. And I just loved it. I was having so much fun and I was just very passionate about it. So I wanted to go all in on myself, go all in on video, go all in on my passions. And I basically risked everything. I risked, risked my only source of income just to satisfy myself. And this was harder than it seems. I went against my parents' opinions. I had to do what I felt was right for me just to make myself happy. And it paid off in the end. I gave my two weeks and um, I just kept on making videos and I had so many people just, I could tell that they're like, why? You're going all in on something you're not even good at. I, I don't think I'm good at it now. But it was enough to get sight. It was enough to get attention from an old friend of mine. And he gave me the opportunity to begin traveling with him.
see a couple months before that, when I first got interested in it, in making videos, I reached out to him and asked for his help to be able to make videos at the races I go to. And not only was he willing to help me there, but he also brought up this idea of traveling with him. And now that I was going all in on myself and I wasn't, I didn't have a job, all I was doing is putting as much time as I had into my own videos, that gave me the time to finally take advantage of his opportunity and travel with him. So I jumped on it. And by it, I mean the plane, because literally two days later, I was on a plane to LA to do something I never would have imagined. I just got done with a 90 minute run that ended up being a little bit longer than nine miles. But I had some motivation for myself, and I said I wasn't allowed to eat the cookie unless I did all 90 minutes. Okay, with that being said, that's it. I went from being a college dropout, almost dying, to going against everybody's opinion and finding something that I'm extremely passionate about. I don't want any of you to say I'm lucky. I made the decision to drop out of college. I went through all of the health issues I had where I was literally on the edge of ruining my entire life. I made the decision to quit my job. I made the decision to go all in on my video. I was taking these huge risks just because those things weren't making me happy. And I believe that everybody should take those risks in pursuit of happiness. This isn't luck. I just ran for 90 minutes because I said I wanted to. What would you do if you just said you wanted to do that and you didn't give yourself another option? What would you do if you were willing to risk everything in pursuit of whatever would make you happy? Because that's what you should be doing. And I hope what I did and the crazy things that I might have done helps you make the decisions that you should be making for your future. I'm beat. I'm so beat. I'm, I'm just gonna go home and take a nap. So, that's the end of this one, guys. My name's Logan Tremellon, and I'm a daily vlogger. I'm here to encourage you guys to defy the odds no matter what the odds are, because that's what I do every single day of my life. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.